Uh, hello everyone and just want to say if you are watching this video thank you for tuning in because this isn't a usual style video that we do on the channel this is just the year long anniversary of the ILP podcast and I just want to sort of just go over a few little things and just talk about stuff in the future now as you can probably guess James is not here at the moment he's probably lying on a beach somewhere on a sun lounger um, but Let's just get right into it. So I just wanted to say, at the time of this video going up, the podcast has been up for uh, one year. Um, but me and James, we've always sort of talked about doing um, not a podcast specifically, but mostly just like videos together and stuff for quite a while. Um, because me and James used to make videos together. Well, we used to make them with some of our friends, maybe at the start of 2015 we began. Uh, I've been making videos before that, but nothing that serious. But uh, I used to have my own channel. I still have it, I just don't upload that much in it. And James, he's had a few channels, um, but it's nothing like what we've done on on the ILP podcast channel. Uh, so that's just sort of like a very quick background of like where we came from. And, um, and basically the main reason we wanted to start the podcast was because me and James used to ramble to each other a load, and one day James just like, yeah, we should we should do one for a laugh because I think he said about uh, the Joe Joe Rogan experience and stuff, and he was like, you know, it's just just a ramble at the end of the day, and they put it up, and that's what we do. So we just thought we might as well try it and just see where it goes. And it well, one year on, here we are. Um, but yeah, I just wanted just to go over just a few little things that have happened. So. I think what I'm going to start with is probably some of my favourite episodes of the podcast. Because um, if you have recently joined uh, the channel, like subscribe, thank you for doing that by the way. But um, we have put out quite a few. Um, there has been some issues and some very weird things because not all of us feature on them. But I'll just some, basically mention some of my favourites. So I'd probably say episode one. Um, I know it's a bit cliche to say it, but that is one of my favourites because um, it's quite, it's weird in a way because it is quite cringy because you're looking back at like yourself talking and stuff, but also you can see where things begin from. So right at the start of the video I mentioned, oh, we're just going to be talking about YouTube news um, and then that's like a regular thing we do now because that wasn't, that wasn't something we were going to do every single time. Um, and I mentioned the trending page, we do that every 10 episodes, I think. Um, just go over that, that was just the spur of the moment thing I said in the first video, and it's just turned into, not like a feature of the podcast, but just something we do every now and then. The yeah, first one, first podcast, it was just purely just for the laughs. Um, also as well, it was just a way for me to test out my equipment, see if it was all working and stuff to record it. Um, but yeah, where the podcast started getting good was probably episode two, because um, when we recorded episode one, me and James were just like, oh, we could just talk about random stuff, you know, just stuff that pops up. Because the original plan actually was to do one every two months, because James had stuff going on, I had stuff going on, and we were just like, yeah, we could just do it whenever we want, um, you know, every every few months, just make one every few weeks. Um, but the second podcast. It was right after we watched Endgame, I'm going to say, because, um, yeah, yeah, it was Endgame, because it's 2019. Um, it's right after we watched Endgame, and we, it was me, James, and some of our friends who feature on that podcast, we were like, we've, we've got to talk about this. Like, we're not trying to be big heads, we're just saying we've got to, you know, just make something, because it is a good topic to talk about. So after we got back, um, I think we recorded it the next day, I think. Um, it was either the next day or the night after, or the night of when we saw it. Um, and we just put our video out, and it, and it was really good, I think. It was just, um, just quite a good video to do, I think. I'm not going to go over every single like specific thing I like from every podcast, but just the final one I'm going to mention is um, episode 9. Uh, because we had our friend Ben feature on that one um, and we were just all into movies at the time well we still are obviously 
and um, everything just seemed to work out really, really well. It was one of the smoothest podcasts, I think. Um, we had so many good points, and it just seemed to flow really, really well. Um, and yeah, that, that's that's just some of my favourites. I do have other favourite moments, but I just don't want to don't clog up this video with just ram, like, random ramblings about me um, going off about stuff like that. Um, obviously, there are some podcasts that we... I'm not saying we didn't like doing, but there's some we could definitely tell that they aren't very good or they're not as good as the other podcasts we've done. So um, I don't want to mention any by name or number or anything, but um, recently there was some we had a lot of a lot of technical difficulties on because um, Discord was really laggy, and then um, when I was recording it, it kept dropping James out of the call, and then it wouldn't pick James up because streamer mode was enabled. It was really annoying, um, and that's just something I want to mention as well about doing this is. There is quite a lot of back end work that goes into it. Not nothing major. It's just um, most of the time we can just sit down and record whatever and talk for ages. But um, I have. I'm not saying I'm a control freak or anything, but I do like to plan things out, and I'm. I do like making a sort of schedule and saying, all right, this time we'll talk about this, and we'll do it in this order, and then I'll put this on the screen at this time, or you know something like that. Um, but there, there is quite a bit of back-end work when it goes into writing stuff like that and then making sure James is available because, well, I'm just going off into a rant here but or a ramble here, but podcasts are easy to do. It's just you've got to realise that there's more than just one person doing it if there is more than one person doing it. Um, and it's all about compromise at the end of the day because me and James will talk about something, we'll say... On some of the podcasts, where James wanted to do it one way, I recommend doing it another way, so we do it my way. But then I'll recommend doing something, but James will be like, no, that doesn't sound too good. And then we'll do it James's way. Um, and yeah, that's just just something you have to deal with, I guess. Just compromise, because at the end of the day, it's for a bit of fun. We don't make any money off this. We don't plan to make any money off this. Um, if we do, I don't really know what we'll do with it, because it'll probably be about 20p or something a year, but... I don't know, probably do a 20p giveaway or something. Um, but yeah, I'll just sort of end this by just saying uh, thank you for one year on YouTube and the insane amount of growth recently because up until I'd probably say January, we were on 30 subs and then we got to 50 subs pretty quickly after that. So by February and then through March and April, we've gone to like 137 I think we're on now um, or 135 last time I looked um, I just want to say thank you for for making that possible because none of us ever want to do this for for a job because I mean that came across a bit wrong there I'm just saying none of us intended for us to do this for a job um, like none of us had any intentions of being like oh in six months we'll be on this many and then, then we can get 2k a month or something um none of us ever thought like that uh but yeah basically what the whole little ramble was just take youtube as it comes take it day by day obviously plan ahead for good videos if good videos happen they happen if they don't they don't and because the, if you're just starting a podcast no one's going to really see the first well like 50 videos you really upload um we were quite fortunate because a lot of James's UFC videos and MMA videos got a lot of views which brought people in. And then my DSP videos and videos and other stuff brought people in. And then they just went back and viewed old videos. So it's just weird, I guess. Um, and I just want to sort of, this will be the last point. I just want to say thank you to all the guests as well that are featured on the podcast. I don't have a list of people uh, next to me who feature on the podcast. But I just want to mention... Thank you to George for featuring because he covered for me when I had a ton of university work to do and he just filled in my role. Um, so I want to say thank you to George. Um, and thank you to Ben as well. He was on a lot of early podcasts. I know he's very busy at the moment, but I just want to say thank you to Ben. Thank you to um, Billy as well for featuring on a couple podcasts. I could be wrong, could be three. Um, 
towards the start. I think the last one Billy did was episode 18. I could be wrong. Uh, but thank you to you, Billy, for featuring on uh, the podcast. Thank you to the Funky Dinosaur as well. Um, although I wasn't in that video, unfo- well, unfortunately I wasn't in that video. Um, thank you for coming on the podcast. It's such so insane that we managed to get, get you on. But thank you for taking the time and talking to James for, I think it's about 52 minutes. That's that's mental. And... Um, yeah, if you if you have featured on the podcast and I haven't said your name, I am very sorry. Um, it's just I have a really bad memory and this is sort of spur of the moment. Um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Oh, and Lanky B, got to say as well, he's featured on um, quite early as well. Um, it was only on a random ramblings. Maybe there'll be more in the future. Um, but yes, yeah, thank you to you as well. Uh, that's about it because I'm just going to keep going uh, and rambling into the microphone. So, hope to see you in future videos. And we do have a lot of good stuff planned uh, coming up soon. So, hopefully, in a year, we'll be doing this again, unless we've burnt onto the ground or something, or we're at 2 million subs or something. But no, me and James have no, um, no plans or anything of getting to any milestone anytime soon we're just taking things as it happens so thank you to everyone who's stuck around throughout this very rambly video um yeah hope to see you next one thank you